I'm Emma Shraskin, and I'm leading the acoustics research team here at the Atlantic Well and Dolphin Foundation. Today, I'm going to be doing a short interview to discuss what we're doing with our acoustics work, as well as what we hope to achieve through that work. So working with acoustic data entails using microphones to essentially eavesdrop on the animals. For our research, we focus on cetaceans in the waters off Tenerife in the Canary Islands. So we go out in a rib early in the morning to conduct our surveys and to collect our acoustic data. After we've lowered the hydrophone into the water to record any vocalizations, we also take note of any behavioral data. We want to record what the animal is doing at the surface so that we can correspond behaviors to the acoustics. A hydrophone is essentially an ordinary microphone that's just been encased in special waterproof housing so that it can be submerged in the water. So we connect the hydrophone to a recording device to record any vocalization that the animals make. So oftentimes we collect echolocation clicks while the animals are feeding, or whistles and tonal calls between individuals to maintain group cohesion. So once the data has been collected, we download the recordings to our hard drives. From there, we upload the files to different acoustic analysis softwares. This allows us to view the waveforms and the spectrograms for each recording, essentially allowing us to see the vocalizations. We use the spectrograms to identify different vocalizations and then use the software to extract acoustic parameter data about the vocalization, such as the duration of the call or the minimum and maximum frequency of different calls recorded. The overall goal is to add an additional layer to our understanding and knowledge of the cetaceans here in Tenerife, specifically the short fin pilot whales and the bottlenose dolphins. We have some projects in the work that center around analyzing what their vocalizations can tell us about family structure, how they forage, and even how they compare to other family groups and regions around the world. But most importantly, we want to understand how noise pollution in our oceans affects these creatures. Whales and dolphins rely heavily on acoustic communication to maintain group cohesion, to feed, and in their breeding behavior. But the oceans have been becoming noisier and noisier over the past several decades, mostly due to the increase in commercial shipping. This ambient noise we are adding to their acoustic environment not only has the potential to mask the signals that they rely on, but can cause hearing damage, elevated stress levels, and even result in strandings. To help mitigate the problem of noise pollution, we are examining exactly how it affects our whales and how we can help them in the future. We hope to use the projects that we have here to aid in the protection of these whales. We want to be able to inform the public about the danger that noise pollution poses to these animals and educate them about how they can make responsible decisions as a consumer to help these whales and dolphins.